tour cadets at the Virginia Military Institute, feeling wide awake is a challenge. They have an early wake-up time six days of the week. Yeah, I would say I never feel 100%, except on Sundays, because on Sundays we're actually allowed to sleep in. It's almost impossible to feel well-rested. If, you, if you're well-rested, you're not doing something you should be doing <laughs> around here. And so it's very hard to get to bed at 11.30, wake up at 6.30 in the morning, and have a good night's sleep. Here in Rockbridge County, it isn't just college students who are feeling the effects of sleep deprivation. Jane Horton is the doctor at Washington and Lee University. During high school, those sleep needs may actually be increased as a um, function of the brain development at that stage, um, and they may need nine to ten hours. Rockbridge County High School junior Sarah Ritter thinks she averages less than six hours of sleep a night. I believe that there's like not enough hours in the day for us to finish our homework. Sarah is taking an AP and honors intensive schedule. She knows her lack of sleep is starting to affect her health, a problem that does not surprise Dr. Horton. I usually have a headache a lot of the time. Sixty percent of VMI cadets will join the military. This helps them put their lack of sleep into perspective. It could be beneficial to those going into the military because obviously when you're deployed, like, they're not, they're getting the same sort of sleeping schedule, maybe even worse as we are. For the Rockbridge Report, I'm Emily Mosh.